this is Mariah Gullo from The Hollywood Reporter, and I'm in studio today with Poppy Delavine. Hello. Hi, Poppy. Hi. Thank you for coming to see us today. Thank you so much for having me. It's so nice to be here. We're here to talk about Nat Geo's amazing, genius series, yes. Picasso. Yes. Um, did you know much about Picasso before you did this series? I actually didn't. I had, um, you know, studied him a little bit at school, mm -hmm. um, so I knew a little bit about his art but I didn't know anything about the person and the person that he was. Um, but funnily enough, actually, a little anecdote to that is um, when I did study him at school, I fell in love with one of these paintings, one of his most famous oh. paintings called Le Rêve. Um, oh. And when I got this audition for Marie Therese Walter, I actually knew who she was because Le Rêve is a painting of her and I wow. had it on my computer screensaver at the time when I got Amazing. sent the audition. So when I got it, I was like, this has got to be, this is meant to be. I have, yeah. to, play, I have to play this character. So yeah, I knew a little bit about his art, but I knew nothing about the character that he really was. And you know, the interesting thing about this series is that uh, Mary Therese is one of many women in his life. Yes. And because this is a 10 part series, you not only learn more about Picasso, but you learn more about the women because you really have of the time that, like, say, a movie biopic would not be Absolutely. able to, to talk about all the many women in his life. Absolutely, and I think that was one of the things that National Geographic were really clever about. You know, they, of course, they wanted to talk about this genius, Picasso, and, you know, this is the second genius that they've done. They did Einstein before, and there was a lot of talk about it being another man. But the thing is that they highlight all of these women that could have been forgotten, a lot of people don't know who Marie Therese Walter or Francois Gillot or Dora Ma, but now, since this series, people do know who these women are. And these women were incredibly talented in their own rights. You know, Dora Ma was an incredible photographer, Francois Gillot was an artist. And now people talk about these women and know who they are. And they have recognition and exposure. And I think that's really exciting. And National Geographic made sure that they touched on these lives. And I mean, let's be honest, Picasso was a genius, but without these women, I don't think his genius would have been so great. Yes, he definitely was influenced by muses in his definitely. life. Uh, some men, some women, many exactly. women. <laughs> many, many women. Many women. And many men too. <laughs> and children. <laughs> and children. Tons of children. <laughs> what a robust European <laughs> life he lived. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and speaking of the robust lives of Europeans, um, your co-star is Antonio Banderas, yes. who also has a connection to Picasso because he grew up in the yes, same town. he did, in Malaga. And I think that... Um, he's always had this um, extraordinary connection, obviously, with Picasso. And, you know, when we went to Malaga for the premiere, I mean, literally turning up with Antonio Banderas, he is royalty mm -hmm. out there. And, you know, so I think for him to play that role was a big deal for him. And I believe that he'd been offered the role in the past and was never sure about accepting it. And then I think that this opportunity, this series with National Geographic, he thought, you know what, I'm going to do it. And it was really remarkable to get to see him play that role and very emotional. I mean, there's in the last episode, there is a scene that you will see. And we were all crying in it, you know, mm. watching him. He, he had all his prosthetics. He was playing Picasso in his 90s. And it was amazing. You could see that connection between these men. And he really brings him to life, really mm -hmm. brings him to life. Mm -hmm. Is there any, I mean, you have a very, um, you have a seduction scene with Antonio Banderas, which kind of puts you in a certain category of uh, lucky women. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. What was that like? Yes, well, <laughs> to be honest, when I first got the job and I found out that it was Antonio Banderas, you know, the first thing that came to my mind was Zorro, because I was like, oh my yeah. God, Zorro, when I was like a teenager when that movie came out. and. You know, Antonio Banderas, heartthrob. I was just you know, so overexcited. And of course, the first day of filming, I get there. And there's Antonio in a sort of like comb over toupee, <laughs> huge prosthetic <laughs> nose. And I'm like, hold on a second. <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness, he, um, heartthrob, charming, wonderful to work with, could not have been more generous. You know, I'm still very new to this acting game and he was always so dedicated and gave me so much time and was so helpful. And 
it was, I'm so grateful that I got to, you know, work with someone like him or I could really sponge off and learn so much from. Mm -hmm. And, um, but overall, just a really charming, kind man to work with. Mm, lovely. Yeah. Um, and a really good dancer. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, He's always cool. on set. He's always got such a high energy. He'd always be on set, sort of like clicking his fingers oh, and nice. stomping his heels. You know, he's got that Spanish thing. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to miss it. I already <laughs> miss it. I also heard that he had to, uh, that, that the women playing opposite him had to actually wear heels and lift shoes because Picasso was five foot four and yes. Antonio Banderas is not five foot four. Yes. Um, so was this like the first time you've ever been in a movie where you got to actually play your own, your real height? I mean, Mary Trois Water, she was famously actually very, very tall. And mm -hmm. yeah, you're right. It was, they had, there were moments when I remember coming out for one scene where Antonio was like, that's ridiculous. You can't put on heels that big. Cause I was literally towering. <laughs> I mean, I'm already a giraffe. <laughs> As is, I don't need much help in the height department. But, yeah. yeah, they needed there to always be that, you know, that difference in mm -hmm. height. But, yeah, I, I got to wear, you know, stocking great heels all the time. It's fun <laughs> for <great>. me. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, do you have a connection to your real-life character? Were you able to do any research on her? Or you didn't meet her because she's Tons, passed away. No, I didn't, I didn't get to meet her. Um, I did a whole load of research. Um, it's always such a huge responsibility when you play someone that really, you know, existed and, and you want to do it justice and you want to do her justice. And Mary Torres Walter was this extraordinary character. So yes, tons of research, but also very luckily I got to meet um, her grandson, my grandson, her grandson, which was totally bizarre, but amazing at the premiere of Malaga. Wow. Um, his name is Olivier Picasso, and he came up to me and he said, hi, Granny, which was so <laughs> nuts. And I was like, what? Um, and it was really fascinating. And actually, Antonio um, built a great relationship with Olivier, which was terrific for me. So I got to find out all sorts of anecdotes about, you know, what really happened and about character traits and just little stories that just helped me build that character. Um, but quite nuts to be able to do that, to be able to meet the yeah. character's grandson. Yeah. But yeah, he was absolutely charming and I think he's, you know, really been enjoying the series. And he That's would come wonderful. on set and be very present and it was very, very cool. Very cool. Um, so um, one of the things I wanted to ask you, oh, yeah. Picasso's friend um, makes him promise in one of the one of the scenes early on with uh, Alex Rich, an actor that you did not get to play opposite of. Annoying, because he's so good. He, he is. is so good in this. He oh is. my god! Um, but his friend makes him promise never to be bourgeoisie, and I thought that that was kind of a wonderful quote and an example of kind of the the lifestyle of an act an actor and an artist. Mm. Um, do you do you agree? I mean, yes, <laughs> yes, of course. I think there's something about remaining very true to yourself and keeping your feet on the ground. And and yeah, no, I would agree with that. Yeah, very much so. <laughs> um, do you have any ideas about what the next genius will be? I know who the next genius is. You do? I do. Oh. I do. So now you I'm, can't guess. No, but I, I, so I can't guess. And by the way, I spent so much time playing the guessing game where I was like, is it this? I was saying to Ken Biller, who's the showrunner, I was like, is it her? Is it him? He was like, no, I'm yeah. not telling you. But it's Mary Shelley. <gasps> Amazing. Yeah, who was, Amazing. I did actually have her in mind. And I did study her a little bit at school. And um, I think she will... I think it will make for a terrific season three that of Genius is amazing. because she was a fascinating lady, and yeah, I can't I love, wait. I love that we're going from scientist to artist to writer. Well, I think that's what you know is really clever about National Geographic. They never wanted to pigeonhole people and say, you know, just only scientists and mm -hmm. geniuses. It's, it can be philosophers, poets, artists. It can be. Yeah. I mean, getting to do this TV show, the art the makeup artists and the costume designers, you know, they were geniuses in themselves, geniuses, genii, yes. whatever it's called. And, yes. you know, getting to do a show like that that was so immersive and mm -hmm. getting to appreciate the art that goes into that. But, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, I think that they really celebrate genius in every 
way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what's really great about it. Yeah. And it's going to take a while before I get my Marie Curie genius. Yes. Not Geo. <laughs> yes, yes. Marie Curie. Yes. Good one. <laughs> Another good one. Poppy, thank you so much for being here. Thank um, you so much. National Geographic thank you for this Channel. Interview. Please watch. Picasso. <laughs>